This video is available in English and Hindi. Namaskar. Welcome back to your channel Simplify Your Space. In every household, cleaning chores are typically similar, but the approach and sequence can vary. It is crucial to discover methods that simplify and expedite these time-consuming tasks, allowing us to have more time for the things we enjoy. In today's video, I will talk about a few simple and effective tips to help you make your home cleaning faster and more efficient. Without further ado, let's dive right in. When it comes to cleaning, I have learned that planning tasks strategically is essential for saving time and ensuring efficiency. For instance, if you have indoor plants, I recommend taking care of their daily maintenance and watering before starting your cleaning routine. This way, tasks like removing weeds, pruning and watering won't create additional mess on the floor. If you have already completed daily floor cleaning tasks like sweeping and mopping, you will want to avoid having to clean the floor again due to plant maintenance. By prioritizing plant care before cleaning, you can avoid unnecessary repetition and streamline your overall cleaning process. Planning your tasks in a logical order is key to achieving a quick and efficient cleaning routine. Tip number two is to gather all our cleaning supplies before we begin cleaning. I always make sure to have everything I need at my fingertips as running back and forth to grab forgotten items can waste a lot of time. I find it helpful to fill a caddy or a bucket with essential supplies like all-purpose cleaner, microfiber cloths, gloves and brushes. This way I don't have to interrupt my cleaning process to search for missing tools or products. To clean efficiently, I find it helpful to focus on one task at a time. Before diving into the main cleaning tasks like dusting, vacuuming and sweeping, I make sure to tidy up and organize my house first. It can be distracting and time consuming to clean and tidy simultaneously. That's why I prefer to tidy up the space first, such as making the bed, putting clothes in the laundry basket and organize books and chargers. Once everything is set and tidy, I begin with dusting and cleaning the counters. I like to start with one room at a time, thoroughly dusting it before moving on to the next. By ensuring that the counters are clear, beds are made and there is nothing on the floor, I find that dusting and wiping become much easier and faster. After completing the dusting, one should proceed with sweeping and mopping the floors. Sweeping and mopping is usually done by our house help only. But maintaining the sequence can be a great help for those who do all the house chores and cleaning by themselves without using an outside help. If budget permits, investing in amazing cleaning gadgets can significantly reduce the time spent cleaning your home. One gadget that has made a big difference for me is a cordless vacuum cleaner. With no cords to plug and unplug or tangled extension cords to deal with, it's much more convenient and efficient. I can quickly clean small areas and handle spills without feeling obligated to vacuum the entire house, resulting in significantly reduced vacuuming time. I recently made a video where I have discussed different types of vacuum cleaners for various household needs. If you haven't watched it, the link is given in the description box. To maximize efficiency in cleaning, I have discovered the importance of utilizing appliances effectively. Aside from washing clothes, I have found that my washing machine can be a versatile tool for cleaning various items, such as rugs, soil cleaning clothes, kitchen towels, sports shoes and chapels. 
Instead of spending time hand washing them, I've made it a habit to set aside a specific day each month to clean all these items in the washing machine. After each use, I take the time to thoroughly clean the washing machine itself, ensuring it remains in optimal condition. If your washing machine has a drum cleaning option, use that. Otherwise, you can simply run the empty cycle on high temperature to ensure a thorough clean. Similarly, I make effective use of my dishwasher to clean challenging to wash items, such as fridge bins, oven shelves, plastic baskets, flower vases and bathroom accessories. These items can be time consuming and difficult to clean by hand. By loading them into the dishwasher, I achieve a more efficient and effective cleaning process. Through personal experience, I have found that utilizing appliances efficiently saves me valuable time and effort while ensuring a thorough cleaning outcome. Using the right tools can significantly speed up your chores. For instance, the space under our sofa is challenging to clean with the broom due to its narrow gap. That's why I rely on a microfiber flat brush to remove the dust from underneath the couch and fridge. Its design allows for easy access and efficient cleaning in tight spaces. Another example is using a shower head attachment on the sink tap. This tool proves to be incredibly helpful when cleaning the sink and tackling stubborn stains. Take for instance the stone of a wet grinder, which is heavy to hold and difficult to clean due to its grooves. However, by utilizing a sink shower head, the cleaning process becomes much faster and more efficient. The increased water pressure and focus stream assist in rinsing of dirt and food particles more effectively, saving you valuable time and effort. The most obvious indicator of a messy kitchen is a pile of dirty dishes. If you have a dishwasher, it's best to load the dishes immediately. Trust me, this simple step saves a lot of time. However, if you don't have a dishwasher, you can pile all the dishes into the sink and soak them in hot water. While the dishes are soaking, take the opportunity to clean and wipe the kitchen countertop. Personally, I find a mixture of dish liquid and water to be my go-to kitchen cleaner. Additionally, I attend to the backsplash removing any turmeric stains, oil stains from overhead cabinets above the cooktop and any grime from the chimney. During my kitchen cleaning routine, I also make it a point to give a quick wipe to the oil bottles and masala dani to remove any stains. This proactive approach prevents the buildup of grease, oil and turmeric marks which can become stubborn and time consuming to clean later on. By incorporating this habit, I have noticed that I save a significant amount of time during deep cleaning sessions. Once your surfaces are wiped, proceed to wash the dishes. By tackling the dishes promptly and incorporating these quick cleaning practices, you will keep your kitchen looking neat and save yourself valuable time in the long run. And there you have it, quick and easy tips to speed up your home cleaning routine. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your family and friends. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Thank you and see you all next week. Until then, happy organizing from Simplify Your Space. Bye-bye.